Alright guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your color look a bit better with the help of plastic tip. So what you're going to need is newspaper, a plastic can, masking tape, uh, you're going to need two fix but I couldn't find any so I'm using those long ones. And what you're going to need is a microfiber towel to clean the emblems before you get started. Alright guys, so go ahead and clean your emblems or whatever it is that you want to paint with plastic dip. Plastic dip is pretty easy, it's just the prepping process that's a bit tedious but if you want a nice finish, you're going to have to prep nicely. Right now, so what we're going to do is tape around the areas. So what you want to do is, okay let's see here, you want to paint this logo right? So what you're going to do is, you go up one inch, about one inch, and you place your tape right there. And that's it. You do that all around. All around. So, I'll finish taping and I'll be back to show you what it's like. Alright guys, this is what it should look like. So, here, one inch all around, as you can see. And you want to mask off everything, because it makes cleaning a lot easier, trust me. So, here again. So here, I just want to do the letters, I don't want to do the whole plate. In here. And I'll show you on the sides too. This one's a bit tighter, but I mean, it's still, it'll still work. Let's focus on here. Here we go. And there's also this side. So, now what we're gonna do is start plastic dipping. Alright, guys, so what you're gonna wanna do is shake up the can for about a minute. So, we're gonna do about three to four coats. And um, the first coat is obviously gonna be very light. Let's sit for 15 minutes. And we'll come back on the next coat, and so on and so on. So just give me a bit. Just finish shaking this up, and we'll get started. So. Alright, I think it's ready now. So let's get started. So what you're going to want to do is test it first. Oh, and you want to be about um, one foot away from it. So what you're going to want to do is test it first. Very lightly, just go like this. Make sure the particles are very fine, not bubbly. So let's get it. So you're going to want to hit it from many angles. So your first coat is, is going to be very light, just like this. Just like that. Okay, and then we're going to move on to the next one now. Okay, again, very lightly. That's it. And now we'll be here, finally. The all wheel drive one. Very lightly again. This one coat. And now I'm gonna speed it up because I'm gonna do the sides, the 3.7. So let's do it. Here it goes. Speeding up now. Never mind guys, I lied. I won't only show you the last coat. I'll show you every coat, but I'll just do a time lapse. So here we go for set coat number two. Oh and another thing I forgot to mention is that you wanna go at it from different angles at uh, different coats. So from for the second coat, we're gonna go at it for from the top, and let's move around the car.
So what we're gonna do now is just take off the newspaper uh, and clean up so that there's less to clean up later on and then let dry for 15 minutes. So you just wanna take it off carefully like this. Just like that. No rush, take your time. get started with the peeling so carefully get rid of the tape around it pull away from the paint I mean sorry the plastic tip pull always pull away from it as you can see just like that So you always need to pull away like this and as you can see it's kind of coming off and that's good because that means you put enough coats on it. So here's the fun part. Here we go. Okay, you want to roll it like this and then once you have a bit of, you want to roll all around. Roll, roll, roll. And then once you have something you can grab onto, you pinch it pinch and pull towards you yeah now that you got something to work with just pull all right guys so that's how we're going to use the that's where the toothpick thing comes in place so here, as you can see, there's still plastic tip in there, right? And we need to get to there. So what you want to do is take the pointy part, and you want to go into a corner, kind of draw a line from side to side, and then pull down. Okay, guys, um, here's something that I wanted to show you. Um, okay, so you know how for these emblems, there's like a small... For these emblems, there's like a, a small gap in between the body and the actual... Um, uh, emblem right but so I wanted to do the letters on this but uh, didn't work because there's no gap in between the actual body of the car and the letters so what happens here is it just comes off the whole thing so yeah I guess that's a bummer but um, it's fine we'll actually paint those in another, in another video so stay tuned for that
So guys, now after you've finished removing the excess plastic dip, what you want to do next is grab a microfiber towel and you're going to notice some overspray on, on various parts of the car. So what you want to do is just wipe it down. It's very easy and self-explanatory. So just grab a towel and wipe. And you can see it's coming right off. As you can see here, let me focus for you guys. Yeah, you can see the black, the black little things here. Yeah, that's the hoover spray. So, you grab a towel and wipe down the excess. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video and if you guys liked it and would like to see more of that, please leave a comment, a like, and subscribe and see you in the next one.